Here's five. We're taking a look at the multiplayer maps. We're going to do a quick comp tour of all the levels, show off a little bit of neat things. Uh, there are 12 maps, seven of which are new. This is Asylum. Hopefully we're not going to be getting attacked by the AI, but you never know. So this map is very, very tight corners. It's a symmetrical map in nature. And here at the far end of it are a very interesting uh, little area segment. So like traditional Gears maps from back in the day, we've got trains. That's right. During the match, trains will fly by here, smashing people and killing them like you're going to see in just a second. Yep, the train will go by, splits up the map, and can kill people because they throw an objective right in the middle, especially in King of the Hill. So we've got tight areas on the sides. We've got a darker side where we initially spawn, and this one is lit up with little candles. Did you not today, Swarmy? Anyways, moving past that, that's the lower end. And then we move through kind of like layers of verticality as both sides again symmetrical up towards this higher perch area from which you can shoot down and see the center of the map at. Very key point, lots of cover in order to have little battles here, a little cutout as usual to collect the weapon from. And then we see the central location down there. And again, lots of little tight corners, little rooms and split up cover as we get back again to the initial spawn point that we were at. Now we're going to go down the middle lane here, so this is a very tight, small segment. It does have a little bit of a, a lower hidden area you can use here for cover to shoot out from, or just to kind of like divert your attention. But yes, a very tight middle spot. It does, however, directly connect to the back area here where the train cars fly by. But yeah, that's generally the Asylum map. That's the first part of our tour. One of the, the smaller ones, smaller to medium size. I guess this is sort of like standard in this particular title, but I hope you get an idea of it. Again, dark and a lighter path, or lighter lit up area over there on that side. Trains that come by, and then an elevated position from which to shoot down upon anyone that gets in the way. So this is Bunker. This is what I'd consider to be a three lane setup. So we're going to start by going through the sort of more elevated area to the right here. This is where broken up cover is. But like I was saying, we've got this elevated position here. We've got a middle tighter lane that kind of merges into like a central point of the map. And then we've got a lower bunker-ish side down there on the left. So at this side, as we move through here, we've got these mirrored kind of open rooms little tiny side areas that you come out and shoot again you can see with this middle segment that it does become a lot more open so this is going to go down to something that's a little bit more of bits and pieces of cover uh, that are split really symmetrically as you can see and then here you get a lowered position from which there can be a small capture point or something else going on there a bit of a central yard there and this is an overlooking area so that you can see the entirety of the lower part of the map. Very helpful for taking a control point is basically having this position of the map. And you can see it, it is a little bit of an awkward sort of jump down or climb up in order to get to the side segments of the level. Again, the mirrored sort of open room here as a side building that you can go through that splits off and leads into the central location of the map. And this is going to be the, the spawn point out here. It's worth noting that the uh, that we now have dynamic skyboxes. They're no longer static, so that's kind of lovely. We're going to continue along. Again, that three-point system. Upper, middle there, and lower here. And then we get a sort of mirrored open area again. As you can see with this spot. Jesus, one is just following me. And this is where things get a little bit more interesting. So you get a post here from which you can see the middle area, but you'll see this sort of battle position. Now this is the elevated portion of it, and then there's a lower spot here that is a choke point basically. For other players, you can shoot off of that balcony, or you can actually jump down here and kind of get down into the action if you'd like to, which is really nice. And then we've got this, this middle segment here that splits the two. Not a lot of cover, but it gives you a little bit so that you're protected that you're not getting shot from the two upper sort of balconies that are going on. You can also climb up, which is kind of neat, uh, an extra little 
point for it in order to get up in here instead of this just being a locked staircase and then the back entrance that way. So they're adding some neat little ways to sort of sneak around in places that we wouldn't traditionally see in a Gears multiplayer title. Uh, if you are familiar with the franchise, uh, you will note that is different. So we're coming back here. This is where the spawn point is again. Small little cover area leading into the building. Very neat. So we're going to go down the middle lane here. Again, tight little spot that leads into more of a completely open area that splits off either to left-hand side's elevated positions or the right-hand side's generally upper balcony style to it. And this middle area where everybody was fighting beforehand. So yes, this is Bunker. Uh, again, like a, a medium to large kind of map, just due to the style of it. Very tight combat, uh, but more of an open feeling just in regards to some of the points giving you access to more areas to shoot at. This is Dam. It is a returning map from Gears of War 4. So like with all the returning maps, they're basically the exact same. That being said, some elements of play have been improved or certain details within the environment have been updated. So this is an interesting map. We've got sort of a closed off almost building area there. A very open middle lane that wraps around as sort of almost like a street to both sides and then we have this back sort of building area that's also encased and we get these sidewalk areas there's usually frags out on the side and it's a central open area that does have some cover in the back towards a distance weapon and then a segment that you can jump over like in the sandbags over there uh, in order to access the middle or you can walk right down the middle which is usually almost like a bit of a, a death trap area there we go, we were on that side over there just a little bit ago. Deal with that guy. So again, we got this open area. And then these areas that you can jump over in order to get access to the central sort of lane segment. And then this back, just really open area where they usually have like a long distance weapon located. And then we come back to the other side and we can see in the middle there, there is a central lane that you go down. We'll show that in a sec. I do want to show off what this spawn area looks like. Again, a very open spot. So you get these sort of really open lanes that uh, split between the two building segments of the map. Here we get a lot of cover. It's basically an almost symmetrical setup. At the far back we have a split sandbag cover system. And down in the middle we have a very tight lane area that you either go up a ramp in the back area or you have to climb up here. There's also those areas available at the front then you can just walk up the little stairs and you get this really tight spot where they usually put an explosive weapon like the drop shot in the middle it makes you very vulnerable because they have this open railing system and you can get shot from both sides and then again this sort of cover system of going up and down in order to battle this is the other side here kind of with the spawn where we started off is over there and yeah this is basically damn it's definitely a medium to large map just in terms of the scale and what it does not a whole lot has really changed on this level, and it feels basically about the same, in my opinion. I don't really notice or feel that anything has been adjusted too much in comparison to its Gears 4 counterpart. So this is District. It is another one of the new maps. This was in the beta, if you played that. So we're going to jump along here. This is a very, very strictly segmented map. It's got some gorgeous little side areas that you can kind of look into. Very detailed, very well done, and sort of a gorgeous almost cinema outside. So we've got these sort of command centers on right hand side, these little elevated spots from which you can shoot down into the central part of the map at. Then we have these two middle buildings that offer completely closed off cover in order, you, in order for you to basically fire into the open while being protected. There's a quick little jump area. That's the only way to access it from the central point. Otherwise, you can walk up the back through the stairs as shown. And like mentioned, you get a complete look into the open of the main battle segment here in front of the theater area. Very good spot to shoot from and a great spot to sort of hold. Moving past that, there is a lower area that's also cut off railway areas you can mantle over that in order to shoot over or use it as cover as you move into this sort of smaller courtyard and then a closed off side area here that usually throw a weapon or something that you can pick up and then you can see the clear very skinny lanes on both sides that lead into the middle more open section and to the two building command centers on either side 
really interesting so we're gonna see that mirrored here because this is a symmetrical map but they do another great job of providing distinct side areas so that it does feel different no matter where you are I think this one has a really lovely atmosphere to it just lots of depth within the actual environment again seeing a nice overview area here into the open but those two very deadly narrow lanes where you just kind of get shot uh, from up here or from the other side uh, the North Hall area. This section is really neat and it's mirrored on the other side too is that you can mantle right over it. So this is a very easy access point even though it is something that offers a little bit more verticality to shoot down uh, towards enemies at which is really nice. So here's the central fountain segment. Uh, this is really the heart of the level in regards to where a lot of the combat takes place. This is a lower area here. They usually put command or usually put like a position that you can capture in the spot, which is great. Uh, you can jump through the middle if you need to easily get back to where all the action is. But this is like a key travel area and you usually get shot down at because as you can see, big open area there, big open area up there. You can hide down here if you're getting shot at from above and they kind of can't really get you, but you're still very vulnerable in regards to the multiple perspectives and areas you can get shot from. So we're going to quickly travel down the main areas. You can see just how deadly this is. You do get some little bits of cover, as is with most Gears titles, so you can sort of hide here if you're coming along. And then you move to this area. So this is open, but yet, again, very small spot, very tight combat on this level. Uh, so tighter section down here, way more open section up there, and then the side lanes offer a lot of freedom in regards to how you travel through them. So this is Exhibit, and I think this might be one of the coolest new maps in Gears. Uh, perhaps not in terms of like the combat, but just the actual look of it. So this is basically uh, a museum. You get these cool little, little buying areas at the end. You know how museums are. They got like the gift shop, and you get these cool looking stuffy creatures. But this is a split. You get half of it as an aquarium area and half of it as a terrarium, I guess you would call it, which is really, really cool. So there's two main areas. We have an upper floor and then we have a lower floor. Most of the map is on the lower floor, but the upper floor does offer quite a lot of, you know, area to move in. You get these sort of open balcony areas that give you a shot down spot or allow you to get cover while you're fighting enemies moving down the middle. There are these lasers that shoot through the map and they can come down and like really cut everyone up like what's going to happen right here. Very neat element of play that I think is going to change up combat quite a bit. And if there's one thing I've discovered on this map, it's that every single creature on the planet of Sarah is just terrifying. <laughs> They're absolutely terrifying. So yeah, then a little back area and then this middle bridge from which you can move between the two upper spots. And then we get to this side, so this is where you get some more familiar looking creatures. You see some like tickers and everything like that, and the big monster stuff like krill and display cabinets. Really cool. But yeah, lots of cover up here too. It feels open, but it, it's still very dense in terms of the cover that is provided on the level. A little really aggressive AI despite being on the easy difficulty for this tour <laughs> in the spawns very open area cool giant I think it's a brumach it's yeah a giant monster the display diorama up there really awesome and then we're gonna see that continued here so now we're in the lower area again we came down from the upper segment there big middle bridge that we went through so now we go down to the lower area and this is mirrored across both sides this sort of open spot that's got some cover but you know you're very vulnerable in the segment of the, the map then we get a couple of different lane options so you can shoot down into really what is the central main point of the lower spot and then we've got these tight corridors on the right very very tight combat here not a lot of options to move around in and then they funnel into the central spot here like, seriously very very tight combat this is a very open, vulnerable spot, that's why the explosive weapon is there. And then we get the other tight corner on this spot. Again, really cool display cases and stuff. Blown away, I'd love to visit a museum like this. Like, look at that thing! Terrifying. And then we got the open water area that is a mirror of the far side. 
So definitely a fairly straightforward map, but one that's got a lot of dimension to it. Just in regards to the options for how you can travel around it. Uh, I think there's some neat combat situations, and you might actually spend some time just sort of taking in the, the side areas, like all the little tiny hidden displays and stuff are really cool, and little exhibit gift shops. Definitely a neat map. Uh, I love the dynamics of having this lower area where there's a battle going on, and then an upper area too, and they're sort of cut off, but that upper area definitely gives you a huge advantage over anyone that's in the lower spot that you're going to be shooting at, which is really neat. Definitely a different level too, just in terms of the design. Very, very cool and creepy. I, I really do like this one. It's very interesting. This is Forge. It is yet another Gears of War 4 map that has been ported over. Very, very open level. Uh, definitely larger in scale. And it seems to be the modified version of it. So this is not the original Forge. This was the one where they cut down on it and made it a little bit smaller so that combat could go by quicker and they could use it in a professional setting. So we've got this very, very open lane it kind of gets split off by these two buildings on both side, or sides of the area, and then you get these other tighter lanes on the far left there that we'll show off later. So this area here, you can kind of move right down the middle, big combat area, usually fighting for an explosive center in the middle, or you can go down into the tight little building segment there. This area has a key access point that goes right up to the forge, which is a giant fire thing that we can turn on from that upper control panel right there. So this area is a small elevated spot to shoot from or have a little bit of a conflict. It used to go further out on the original Forge map, but it's been tightened because it makes a lot more sense for the combat of the game. So not a lot of action goes on here anymore, but as you can see, you can turn on the fire and it'll burn whatever's in there, which is really great. Teammates too, so be careful of that. Small area to shoot from, you usually get the sniper. It's not a huge advantage, but you can provide some cover fire to the tops of those areas. The middle here and then a little bit of this segment so not a whole lot of space for shooting so you don't really see a lot of action in that part of the well this part of the map anymore not like you used to so we're coming here again seeing the other side of that middle area spawn point on this side and then we're going to explore one of the little buildings so that's the same on both sides basically just slightly smaller designs in the interior and then you come here this is just a circular area in the middle with the big fire death trap. Both sides have really tight cover. Usually they throw an objective in on that and then you're fighting around here so you have a little bit of a, a side lane that you can shoot from and the spawn points offer a little bit of cover so that you can go to it and kind of take a little bit of a foothold before trying to advance down to the tight area. This used to be an elevated position up here that you go on but now it's just a tight little back area that's completely open for firing. Uh, but you do get a small little area that you can be safe from, but for the most part it's deadly in here. Moving through the middle, big open as mentioned, you can see here that's the spawn point over on the other side of this area, mirroring what was over there. And you move down here, tight spot, lots of death in this particular area. <laughs> Not safe, and where a lot of the combat comes from because you can shoot down from these protected spots and just kind of annihilate whoever gets stuck in the middle. But they do offer these little tiny cover squares that you can quickly move around in order to save yourself. Below the sniper spots, this area, sometimes you see some conflict here because it is a place that you can get cover and move between the spots rather quickly without getting shot, which is really nice. So yeah, that is Forge. This is Foundation, another Gears 4 map, and one of the favorites from that game. I personally got tired of it during the beta, so I played on it many, many more times when I was playing Gears 4, because everyone loves to pick it. So this one, lots of tight spots, very cut off little areas of conflict, usually a position objective here that you have to fight around. Lots of maneuvering, but very open for death, then it filters down into this lower area. So usually a lot of people are battling on the, that awkward ramp they get caught on and then they come down here and then they have a big standoff in this very open area where a lot of the combat happens here usually over an explosive like the boom shot as in what's happening right at this situation you know for a lower difficulty the ai is very hostile in this <laughs> just a shot so open area here Again, you see a symmetrical style of map as it wraps up and goes into that area over there. 
This also feeds into the middle core of the map. Tons of conflict and mayhem in this particular objective right there. Yeah, I just played on this way too much. This map is also basically the same. It just looks lit a little bit differently. And it's basically, it does have a static skybox. That's sad. Yeah, basically the exact same. So here are the sort of awkward ramp areas that filter out into the middle. You get two cutoff spots that you can hide at. One here on the left and then one on the right. And this is just basically a death zone. You go up there to die, like I did right there. You can't shoot down from it. It's just a very useless spot that you go to as if you're being fired from. And you need somewhere to hide in order to perhaps come back and uh, be a menace again. But that's really what that is for. This is a little bit better of a spot because you do get a commanding area view. But here, very, very rarely do you see someone go up here because, as you can see, it's just a very useless area. Honestly, they should maybe cut it off, but... Yeah, because I don't see a lot of people use it. There's that middle area that I mentioned where they usually have an objective for combat. This is more of an open little spot. The grenade's always right there in the middle. And then that leads into this back area that's filtered into from both spawns. Because there's usually an objective for and or the torque bow in this area here. And as you can see, it's just like a little tiny statue that has a lot of conflict going on around it. It's not a super popular spot. You only really see people here when there's like an objective in play. Uh, other than that, there's not a lot of action that goes on in this particular area. Then we can see right here, this is a middle ramp, or not a middle ramp, but a middle lane that kind of connects everything. You go this way down to where the Torquebo is, or you can go back this way towards where the spawns and the center of the map is located, which works pretty well. So this area is really good for shooting down this way and getting a commanding spot over anybody there. You also get a small little viewpoint here, but I don't really see a lot of people use that for shooting unless you have a torque and you want to get a quick shot off of somebody that's using the objective down there. But yeah, that is basically Foundation, a map that we will probably see way too many times in this one like I did in Gears of War 4. This is Harbor, another Gears of War 4 map. Bit of an awkward one, quite honestly, but yeah, let's get in here. So this is different. Uh, the first version of it is at night. The second one is with a fog. This seems to be like a weird lit up version of that. You get these command bases on both sides from which you can shoot down into the center lanes from and just kind of gives you cover. So that side over there is an elevated boat position. There's conflict there. This tight middle segment is where a lot of uh, death kind of happens because there's a frag. And then most of the conflict due to the position of where objectives are placed are here at the docks. So this is an open area. You do get options and elements of cover here. You can move along the side if you're shooting somebody in this spot. Or you can stay up here if you want a commanding spot into the middle and to the far end of the map as well. Very split off. Kind of well done. It does work competitively. This area leads out into the top upper segment or into the middle lane. Here, tight spots that you can use for cover. And then there's always like a drop shot or something there. And you just kind of use the area to protect yourself. We're showing off the mirrored spot up here as well where it is open. And look around. This is really good for spawn camping. You can hide here and then they'll run through and you just shoot them. Same goes for this spot too. You go here and then you just go bop and you just shoot them. So again, basically the exact same map. The lighting is just a, a bit odd in this one. We'll quickly show off the sides entrance into the open tight lane in the middle. You do get cover on both sides though if you need to shoot out and protect this spot. Usually you can hide right here and it gives you a bit of a protection as you're working towards trying to fight for those grenades. There's usually a objective placement up on this spot. So this is a slightly elevated medium elevation compared to the upper top area there. Good spot for shooting down into the side lanes and kind of protecting this as if it's almost a little tower fortress, which is really nice. Ramps for easy access. Oh, that's new, I believe. Yeah, those weren't there before. Glad they're still using this dock. This area, very rarely do you see conflict in this lane. It's mostly just for travel quickly. 
this area is where a torque bow or a sort of sniper position is held. You can honk the horn. A lot of fun. <laughs> you can shoot down at people because you get a little bit of an advantage with the ramps. Then there's this spot, which is also mostly for movement. Not a lot of combat, but it is tight here between the areas. You see that on both sides. And then if you're bold, you usually get shot in the back. If you do this, you can move to this spot, and you get a really good spot to shoot over towards the frags. A little bit harder to kill people that you down, though. You also get a direct viewpoint towards where the main explosive is, so that is helpful. You do get a sniper torque bow. This can be a really good command spot, but you are vulnerable because you get access from there and from there, so you're not entirely safe. We'll just finish off the wing of our tour before wrapping up harbor over here again seeing the sniper spot big looming boat again and then you get another command tower here basically the same perspective and uh, the same type of setup on this map and yeah harbor lots of fun this is icebound it is another one of the new maps in gears 5 hopefully we get lucky and we get to see the blizzard or well it's more of a flurry that comes through the map which is kind of cool this is a very split area. We get a really neat area here. And then over there, it's a very closed off middle spot. So we're going to start by moving down on this right hand path here. So we get uh, a building area. So this is very dark, very closed off. We get some lanes of movement and fire and protection as you move into this central spot, this open courtyard where there's a lot of conflict. People feed out from that middle building and they come here for battle over an objective usually in the center of the courtyard very deadly spot but we're going to move up to the second level which gives you a layer of verticality which is very interesting so you get some protection by looking from behind but it's very very closed off here which is very interesting and different you can also jump down there and slide down which is cool but we're going to do it on the other side because it's way more awesome beautiful backdrop on this one you're inside a giant worm that was like, you know, decaying, which is awesome. And this like very weird balcony that you're likely to get shot at, but if you want to move quickly between spots, this is the best option for doing so. And it gives you a great vantage point over the whole map, so I guess if you had a sniper or something up here, this would be a really good area to use, but you're very vulnerable. Again, same as the other side, some really cool shops down there that you can check out. But this one, you slide down, you go into some fish blood. Uh, it's kind of fun. I don't know, at least I think so. As I go right into a position, that's not great. Yeah, and then you can mantle over into cover as you go into the shop. Again, this is beginner difficulty, just so that I could like show off these maps easily. They're very hostile and they like gang up on stuff. It's ridiculous. So tight spots. You've got to be kidding. They just won't leave me alone, will they? You get little cool shops, and then we're back into the spawn, but you know, on the other side of the map here. So now we can show off this area, which is very open, very vulnerable. You do get a little bit of cover in the middle, but for the most part, traveling here is, is dangerous. Uh, you're likely to get shot at just due to how long the lanes are. You get some natural cover on this side, man-made cover on the other side. Gotta deal with this guy quickly. Here's a little bit of a battle in tight spots, and it filters out into this really tight building that leaves you quite vulnerable. You can't jump in, you can't jump out. You can jump in and jump out at, at well, you, I guess you can jump out of this spot into the middle. But I'm meaning from these spots, you know, you can't mantle there. Here you can. It's just a very, very cut off part of the map that does give you a commanding kind of look into the open. It, it can be very helpful when you're trying to take objectives. And that's something to be noted. This area is just really lovely. It goes like a bit of a frozen waterfall and a bar spot, which is kind of neat. But this is just the left view from the spawn over there. So we kind of shown that all off. But we're going to jump down the middle so that you can see that in action and understand how that lane works a little bit better because it is a very interesting thing to include in this one as you fight for that middle explosive. Oh, and I forgot these nice little kind of corner cutouts where it's open, but you do get a little bit of cover to shoot in at people. And I guess we could show off the, the blizzard. Well, it's more like a flurry comes in. Yeah, 
Yeah, just a brief little storm. It doesn't do much, but it adds something a little bit neat to the map in terms of like a, an aesthetic to it, which is kind of cool. This is Reclaimed, another Gears of War 4 map that was carried forward. Uh, perhaps my favorite map in Gears of War, as odd as that is to say, just the balance for competition I thought is beautifully handled in this one. And it's just a really well laid out symmetrical map. So when you start off, you can go two ways. You can go left, right into the action, or you can go right into an elevated area that you have to access through stairs. We're going to go left first because I'm assuming it's going to be a little closed off. So you get a building here, small bits of cover for quick movement. Then you get this tower spot that is usually used as an objective. You can shoot over it, but there's lots of cover for protection to move around and attack you quickly. Then it becomes this very open middle lane with multiple stairs from the higher area shooting down upon you as you go in and try to get frags. From there, we have this middle barn, very strong command spot uh, where lots of conflict happens. We get this open area on both sides that lead into this area, very tight, very deadly. Lots of conflict happens here, which is great. <laughs> Not used a whole lot, but it is. And then you can mantle over here, access the middle. Usually there's somebody here with cover, sometimes shooting this way, and you can mantle kick, or they're on the other side, and you can jump over or grab them, which is nice. You can see this mirrored on this side, as we did on the other side with the command area, and then the steps that lead upwards. But we're going to take you through the actual spawn area, so you can see how this looks. Now this map actually does look better than it did in Gears of War 4, which is surprising. And they fixed the glitch where you kind of look here from this spot and then that gargoyle would disappear. So the gargoyle actually stays this time, which is nice. But some very atrocious like background visuals on this one. It looks really ugly. I forgot to show one over there, but it was downright just an abomination. Some of the, the visual graphics that you look down from like the barn area. At. So here's one of the, the closed off little buildings that's mirrored on the other side as well. Usually they put the objective out here. Lots of little conflict that goes on here because it's so tight and yet open because you can move around so fast to get to either spot. This area is quite open. You get some awkward sort of stairs to fight on. You do get a bit of an elevated position, especially if you can get up into like this spot here. You can just shoot down onto the various areas of the open of the map. They do give you a cover there if you need to shoot outwards to protect the objective, which is nice. Then we get this one upper command area that they've opened up a bit. Like this used to be cut off with railings on both sides and now it's completely free with the fencing having been removed. So that opens this up a lot because this used to be a closed off area that you would get shot at from these side areas. Now people can jump right up and attack you. It's not the commanding spot it once was, but if you can actually hold this, you can get some great fire down into really any part of the map. And yeah, I think it's right there. It's like that. It's some like ugly texturing along the riverbank especially if you go down here and then you look outwards it, it looks bad i guess people aren't looking inside the map but i am and it looks like the giant i don't know if there's sausages or bugs returned so that's kind of cool <laughs> just something to know then you move down here and you can again see the cycle of the map starting over we could have turned right and went up this way uh, compared to turning left but we didn't now i'll show off the stairs quickly little middle spots you're moving across here quickly because you usually get shot and attacked, but yeah, that is generally the map. Very well loved, and actually they did spend some time adding some things, tweaking this a bit, and making it look, I think, a little bit better. And that, that top command spot definitely changed a ton by removing that railing. I've noticed that with each Gears title, they like to make things more and more open so that you can flow through it quicker. And that is uh, that's a big change up for sure. This is Training Grounds, uh, it's used in the tutorial for the game, and it was one of the beta maps. I don't really care for this map much, it's, yeah, whenever they add the, like, the technical training elements of Gears on the levels, I don't like the look of them. That aside, it is fast-paced, tight combat, very open areas out here, and then when you move to the middle, it's very closed off no matter where you go. You get this sort of awkward elevated middle spot here that you can shoot down from and this back area where everyone closes in on for a little bit of combat over a power weapon there, usually a distance based one. Again, very awkward here. You do get a good commanding spot to shoot down into the middle of the map from though. 
and on the sides if you can get there, but usually you get shot in the back because it is really open as opposed to being tight up here, which is, again, very strange to see. Then you come down, and it's open once again. Not a lot of depth to this map. I really don't like it. It's some stairs here where you can climb up on this spot if you like to get up here. You usually get shot doing that. Uh, if we come to the back area here, quick access from the spawn if you want to just quickly run up here. Nobody does, but you can. Then you get these slightly elevated towers that you can shoot down from into you know, multiple spots of the map, the open areas here. But you are vulnerable because the stairs are right there. Or you can shoot into the middle of the map. You can also mantle over this spot when you're getting attacked by people trying to do a map tour. Very nice open area. I've noticed that if you don't actually kill them, they just harass you and follow you the whole time, so... Yeah. Anyways, very open middle. Lots of little cover throughout it in case you need to move around because you're getting shot in the back while you're trying to do a tour and getting killed. But they don't finish you off, which is really weird. Usually there's a middle weapon, as you can see that I'm crawling beside at this point. Then you can move up, and it sort of just follows the exact same pattern on this side. Again, not hugely dynamic. You can jump down here if you want a surprise. It's kind of nice, but you're very vulnerable once you jump down uh, into that area. If you move to the middle here, there is a lower spot below where you can usually get frag grenades. A uh, little really closed off awkward spot you can get trapped in easily if you go there off the bat. Again, very, very tight. Kind of awkward, but yet it's got these open spots here and just yeah it's it's definitely a different map not hugely blown away by it what is really cool though is uh they got the iconic spot from the first gears of war up there you can kind of see the remains of it which is neat as i'm getting cut up the stairs it's where carmine gets shot in the head in the first one it's very cool worth taking a look at this is Vasgar, the final stop on our tour. This is a very small, fast-paced level that is very cool. Very familiar with this one, having played some Horde on it. So this takes place at like a bit of an airfield base, and it's just absolutely destroyed. It used to be a place of luxury, but yeah, it's kind of falling apart. So you get these very open spawns, and then there's this elevated little area here. It's, it's sort of like a really awkward, randomly thrown together map. And that makes it work very well. You get lots of spots from which you can shoot down at. You can shoot down into there, which is very open, or the middle. You can also move down very little side open spots that have lots of cover between them, which is nice. Again, very, very split. Uh, you can't mantle from here, so it is a commanding spot as you watch the two factions fight it out. Then you get this open, sort of thrown together area that's closed off, but you can't connect to the main arena of war where the, the glass is. That's kind of cool. And there's the open area on this side, which mirrors the other side. And then you move up here, another little elevated spot that kind of shows the big open middle. Kind of cool. Snipers, long distance weapons. Very interesting. And another lower area that you can either shoot down upon or you can move through quickly. Again, very, very small, but very cool of a level. And then this one comes down again into the middle where you get just a very open arena of war. It's sort of a circular style here, but yet it's closed off by these thrown together concrete blocks, which is really cool. That's basically Asgard. I think it looks really cool aesthetically. It's, it's a very different type of map. One that's very fast paced, it keeps the action going, and there's not a ton of spots that you can really hold off anywhere. You're going to lose your cover very quickly because there's many flanking routes, many ways to get places. And it's generally just a very open level compared to other ones that are present in this. You know, you're not going to find a lot of cover, you're going to just find little blocks you can jump between as you're hoping not to get shot at from others that are also moving and trying to you know, get into other commanding spots. So that's all the maps here at launch. A uh, pile of new ones, pile of old ones, and that makes up the Gears 5 multiplayer map tour.